couple hours from Japan. Oh, and I really wanted to talk to you guys about like having a fourth baby. So I was telling you guys about the diet thing. I mean, look at our backyard. It's kind of tragic, honestly. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another vlog. It is Saturday. It is uh, almost at September. <laughs> it is actually April 2nd and I got rain. We just woke up a little while ago. I'm gonna change him for the day. Let's pick out some clothes. I recently have gone crazy on clothes. I have kite baby, brave little ones, little sleepies. Uh, what else, what else, what else? I think that's pretty much it. Those are my three favorite bamboo brands. I think this one though is so cute. My little rainbow baby. It's gonna be 81 degrees today, so I think we're gonna do this one for now. It's romper, but it has footless, so that'll be good, kind of like what he's wearing right now. This one right here is a brave little one. He say good morning. He's been having like a leaky eye since birth, and he still has it, so like, it just leaks and gets all gunky. Has anyone else's baby had that? It's so weird, I've never had one that has that. Okay, so this is definitely a yes. Wow, you're so excited for the day. Who's playing music out there? It is like eight o'clock and I've been hearing music playing outside since like seven. So everyone's actually still sleeping in our house. Um, so I'm gonna try and nurse Rain really, really quickly, and then we will go ahead and go get those groceries. I'm cannot. He's getting so big. Are you hungry? Oh. Okay, sir. Sure. Thank you. He's all ready to go. You see? Are you ready? Yay! There's some sort of car show. This is where the music is coming from. It's kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, there's barbecue, there's like booths. Okay, yeah. I'm not mad at you anymore, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and also, we need gas, so let's go see how much it costs today. It is 6.39 today. Love that. Don't eat anything between breakfast and lunch, between lunch and dinner, and between dinner and breakfast. <laughs> Can you guys believe that? $150 to fill my tank. I mean, I do have a big car. That's a lot. There's like so much going on today in my world. Like there's little races going on. Not races, like foot races. Races, like marathons. Is that the word? Why am I like, wow. I swear my brain is like not really working today. So bear with me. And then there's like some sort of car show, barbecue thing happening. It really feels like spring is in the air and I am all here for it, for real. We're here. We are here and I am so glad we don't have to go inside. This pickup thing is literally the best. All right, so we are now at Walmart, last stop before home. I'm actually listening to the Mr. Beast Joe Rogan podcast um, episode. It's actually really good. I had no idea he has Crohn's disease, which my husband has ulcerative colitis, which is pretty much the same thing. It's so crazy. Rain is still sleeping. As long as the car is moving, he's asleep, but we just parked and we're waiting for the groceries to come out. He's gonna probably start crying. It's 10:30, almost two. I really wanted to talk to you guys about like having a fourth baby because I know a couple people have been interested in that, and I know with my pregnancy test video that I did a couple weeks ago, people are like, "So are you trying? Like, what are you doing? What's happening?" So I'm also gonna be talking about that in today's video too. So yeah. All right, so I'm back home and we have a huge grocery haul. Um, over here, I just got eggs from Sam's Club, just organic cage-free eggs. We got some more steaks. I got some chips, grain-free. I actually have never tried this brand. String cheese, these keto, like trail mix, snack mixes. These are really good. These got cheese and like nut mixes. Got those at Sam's. Roasted chili and cheese cauliflower dip. And I also got another gouda and pimento dip. So this will be good with like celery, carrots, even these tortilla chips. 
This stuff is so good. It's dangerous, but it's good. But I got this for Parker. I got some of these to try. Some bread for Parker. I got two on accident cherry tomatoes. Lunchables for Parker's lunches. Zucchini, cucumber, romaine lettuce, baby carrots. Two things of strawberries. I get these for Parker for in the morning for breakfast. These cookies and cream little breakfast shakes. Got some lemon and lime juice. Some asparagus. I got this as a substitution. This was supposed to be a butter dish, but they gave me a mini loaf pan. It's cute though. Two cans of tuna, coconut oil, two things of mayonnaise, red white vinegar, some sour cream for some ranch I'm gonna make. Bunch of celery. This is just for dipping in those dips and also I'm gonna be doing celery juice. Provolone cheese, Chobani flips, the s'mores one. These are for Cody and I. These are the two good, two sugar, low carb yogurts. Some uncured salami with cheese is kind of like a snack that we're having. Some coconut flour, two iceberg lettuce heads, green onion, bacon, which I'm pretty sure I had more than one bacon and there's only one here. So gotta fix that. A whole chicken for smoking on the smoker. Parker loves these. These are little honey chicken strip things. So I got two bags of those. Big box of Chobani flips, bunch of different flavors. The kids and everybody loves these. Some more turkey breast lunch meat. I get these for Cody for work. They're like little snack mixes. There's different flavors in here. Green beans. These are also for Cody's work. Little carrot and ranch dips and then some grapes. All right guys, so let's talk babies. I wanna say thank you so much to Premom for sponsoring this portion of the video. If you guys do not know what Premom is, Premom is a fertility app that makes tracking your hormones and your fertile window super easy. You can also use it to track your cycle. If you are trying to get pregnant, you guys, this app is perfect and it's free, which makes it great. I actually used their ovulation testing strips when I was trying to conceive rain, so I'm definitely going to be doing that again if that's in the plans. Now, I remember when we were trying to conceive for rain, I definitely used these, and it's so cool that they reached out to me because genuinely, once I started tracking my ovulation, it made getting pregnant so much easier, and if and when, which I'll talk to you guys about later, uh, we do want to have baby number four. I'm definitely going to be using this. They have an amazing app that is so easy to use. It makes predicting your fertile window and ovulation day so easy by taking pictures of the actual ovulation test strips and it takes all the guesswork out of tracking. The app takes in all your fertility tracking methods. So you can do your BBT, you can use the ovulation test strips, which I'm showing, and your period when predicting and analyzing your unique cycle. Premom also gives you a great money back guarantee program that includes a free fertility consultation with an expert after six cycles of trying and your money back on all Premom Easy at Home fertility tests, their BBT thermometers after nine cycles of trying without any success, which is so amazing that they do that for people. And the thing that I love about this, it's so great for even just tracking your cycle. So you don't even have to be trying to get pregnant. It's just so awesome to actually know what's going on. It really gives you just this more control over your body. And I love that so much. And I'm really grateful for that because once I did start trying to conceive with rain, I started to understand my body so much more by tracking my ovulation. And it's also a great way to avoid pregnancy if that is your plan. It gives such accuracy from cycle to cycle. And also there is a community within the app where you can connect with other people who are also trying and sharing their success tips through trying to conceive, which we all know can be such a roller coaster. I know I've been there too. That's one reason why I started sharing my trying to conceive journey because it can be very isolating and the app really gives you a nice community to share with other people who are going through the same thing as you. So here is a look into this free app, you guys. I think this is great because most of us already use period tracking apps. And if you are trying to get pregnant, if you're not trying to get pregnant, if you maybe want to try and conceive later on, this is great because you have everything all in one app. I will definitely be using this next time because last time I was taping every little test and every little ovulation strip into a notebook. So this is just a way more organized way to have all of that. Premom also has really inexpensive ovulation and pregnancy tests that you can buy in bulk on Amazon, which makes testing so easy. And you also cannot beat the community within this app. It is just amazing to be able to connect with other people who are going through the same thing as you. So definitely check out the link down below
below in the description box to download the Premom ovulation app. And thank you again for Premom for sponsoring today's video. So I was telling you guys about the diet thing. So basically it's low sugar or no sugar and low carb. That's like the general idea is that carbohydrates turn into sugar. So you limit those and as well as like regular sugars. So this is like eggs and bacon. It's basically kind of keto, but even more based on sugar than the carbohydrate part. Speaking of these shoes, I just got them in the mail two days ago. If you guys know the Tory Burch Miller sandals, well, they came out with this new version. It's a Cloud Miller, and they are on sale currently on Nordstrom.com. I will link them down below for like 35% off. I think they're like 150 bucks, so instead of like the almost $300. So if you are interested or been wanting a pair, definitely grab one now while they're on sale. They're really nice and comfortable real leather sandals. I have a pair of the regular ones. They've lasted me years. They're really, really nice. So we're actually gonna be dropping Everly off over at my in-laws here in a little bit. Look how cute he is. He's literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. What, Everly? I want to, I want to, I want you to, to, to sit down with grandma. Yeah, I know. And then we're gonna go look for some outdoor stones, like stepping stones for our house, because he's smiling. Um, our backyard is literally, girl, let me show you. I mean, look at our backyard. It's kind of tragic, honestly. We wanna get some sod, we wanna pour concrete, we wanna do a lot of different things. But yeah, this is a future project for sure. All right, so I think rain needs to be changed, so we're gonna go in this room. I'm gonna also try and do a little tummy time. What? <laughs> Scare me. I, I, I just kidding. <laughs> and Everly's outfit is so cute. It's a little romper. This is from Target too. We got little butterfly clips. I got those at Target. So adorable. Beautiful. hungry and I want to try this roasted chili what roasted chilies and cheese cauliflower dip with cheddar and pepper jack cheese it sounds so good so I'm gonna try it with a little celery and carrots cuz girl trying to lose weight let's try it with a carrot first it's kind of spicy Mm -mm. Carrot's not spicy. It has like a weird texture. There's like chunky cauliflower in the dip. It's weird. What? So I also earlier made 
Kinders, like the seasoning, I made their ranch. I don't think I've ever had ranch that has sour cream and mayonnaise in it, but that's what this is. And I'm gonna try it. It's been sitting for like an hour. This is the little container. Most of their seasonings are really good. So yeah, let's see what Cody thinks. It's ranch and mayonnaise. I know, did you mix it up? I mean, sour cream and mayonnaise. I think so. Does it not taste like it? Maybe it's just celery I'm smelling. Something healthy, like nasty. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I, I don't know if I can't really taste or what. Doesn't really have a taste, huh? It's different. Yeah, it's not like your normal ranch. It's not. I mean, it's good. It's not character. Can you do without the mayo though? Mm hmm. It's a ranch dip. It's not a dressing. Dressing's thinner. I was thinking maybe it needs some milk. Kind of like loosen it up. No? Probably need less mayo. <laughs> or more sour cream. Well, I really don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Pretty inexpensive, and they're already nice and tall. Yeah, I like those ones too. Um, How do you get this delivered? You don't. Oh, you just put it in your truck or car? Yeah. Okay. I mean, this stuff would would be fine to do. Yeah, they're so pretty. Aren't those pretty? Little fountain. I like to do some sort of fountain. Yeah. They have these cute little plants on clearance. They're only like $7. They're so cute. So we are back home. The house is super quiet. It's 6.30 right now and Rain is sleeping over there. Everly is with my in-laws. Parker's outside playing and Cody is actually about to go ride his Harley. But we had our junky food for the day. I was telling you guys earlier, we're on like this diet. But every Saturday we've decided that we'll have like one meal where we just kind of get whatever. So um, we got chicken strips and honestly, after eating like really clean, it just doesn't taste that good. When you have soda for the first time in a long time, like it just doesn't taste the same. But I am enjoying the quietness for a little while. It feels good just to have like a little bit of time to just relax with no kids around. Like sometimes you just really need a break. You know what I mean? So. Um, and this dress is so cute. I shared it in a vlog before. It's kind of dark in here um, But it is from Target. I was nursing so <laughs> it's not buttoned up all the way, but it buttons all the way down So it's really nice and easy to nurse in. It's so cute. I'll link it down below. So Mr. Rain is awake. He literally takes like 30 minute naps all day long well not all day but like he'll have like three or four 30 minute naps and that's it but he does sleep through the night pretty much he's sleeping from 9 30 p.m till 8 8 30 a.m which i am so grateful for um i'll take the little cat naps during the day but he's doing so good all right so before we end this vlog let's talk babies so cody and i actually talked about babies if we wanted to have more on our anniversary we had a three-year anniversary in mid-march um and we did talk about it we actually talked about it at dinner when we went out for our anniversary and you know i feel like we're not done and it's so funny because i was going to have my tubes tied when i had rain and then towards the end of my pregnancy i said never mind i don't want that and i just don't feel like we're done in my heart with that being said things can always change you know in a year from now when he's a toddler like i could totally be feeling content and ready and done but as of right now i just feel like 
we want probably oh. one more. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you again for Premom for sponsoring today's video. They were my first sponsor ever, which is really cool. So thank you guys again, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day